the lawyer, Leonard Windglass, of the Cuban Five, a group of men convicted of espionage, conspiracy to murder, false identification and other illegal activities in 1998, has begun putting together a new set of appeals as of June 2010. The appeals will involve evidence that the United States paid off well-renowned journalists of the South Florida area to run anti-Castro propaganda news stories before and during the trial. The U.S. Office of Cuba Broadcasting paid up to $58,600 to journalists to write articles and appear on their programs. This coupled with the court case taking place in the city of the nation's largest anti-Castro population is said to be the most blatant and outrageous example of government influence destroying the right to a fair trial and the right to appeal, by Gloria La Riva, coordinator of the National Committee to Free the Cuban Five. Not only is this morally wrong, according to the Nation Committee, but by moving the funds through radio and TV Marti, a station created by the U.S. to provide current affairs programming to Cubans, also violates federal law banning domestic government propaganda.